Merry Christmas from Wyoming. This is our door with our Christmas cards. See anybody you know? It is Wednesday, December 22nd, 7 a.m. This is a bowumentary. I'm going to go outside and uh, feed the creatures here in a second. It's uh, 7 a.m. Valerie has to work today and then she's off till January 3rd. I've been off this week and next week for Christmas break. I'm, um, my goal is, is to harness this critter up this week. So we're going to feed them in a second and uh, do some training at 9 a.m. So I'm going to take you through a short day. So there he is. This is a stained glass on our front door. It's called Desert Dust. It was made by a neighbor. And here is a picture I got for Valerie a couple Christmases ago. It's called The Kiss. So, heading out to, uh, to feed Bo. It's 19 degrees out. Uh, Valerie usually feeds the horses in the morning, but because I'm off this week, uh, I get the pleasure. There's the moon. It was a total lunar eclipse uh, Monday. So Merry Christmas from Wyoming. There's my dog friend. Where is he? Where's Bo? That's not low. Buddy! Come here! Buddy! I spied a Belgian in the midst. We had a little snow. Uh, the mountains around us have been hammered. Buddy! Buddy! That's my buddy! Shut up and give me some food. Hi, buddy! How are ya? Good little buddy. That's my favorite buddy. Hello. Hi. Hello. Good boy. He's uh, putting on some weight. His rear end. He's getting lots of exercise. He's in his own little spot here. Just, they're still getting used to each other. Hi, buddy. I want some hay. Good buddy. Hello. Well, I need some hay. We're babbling so much. Okay, well, I'm going to go get his hay. And then at 9 a.m., we're going to do some training. So this is a bowumentary. Merry Christmas. So I'm heading around to get the hay and feed the creatures. Uh, this is night and peaked. Night is the old Percheron. He's seen better days. He's on his last legs, literally. He uh, was a rescue horse. He had a terrible stifle injury years ago. He uh, gets Adequan and a steroid. Oh, there's a two-headed horse there. But poor old Knight, he's, he loves to drive still, but he's, he's not doing that great. Uh, there's Petey. This is Val's quarter horse, Smokey. Okay, breakfast time, probably 7.20 or so. This is Dixie. Uh, this is Duke. And here's Bo. Eating my hay. This is beautiful alfalfa hay. 
it's uh, lovely. He loves it. I love it. Tell a photo. It's delicious. But it smells great and it's green and lovely. Uh, this is Bo's area. We have never put them completely together yet just because they're so big and we're not ever going to rush them. So this whole area is his. There is his house down there. There's water and uh, there's a trough down there that we feed him out of the weather. I just wanted to show you his hay today and breakfasts. And he likes being next to his friends. So there's the bow man. And uh, these guys are separate. Pete and Knight and Jet. That's Val's other quarter horse. Jet's a mounted patrol horse as well. Nice tail, nice butt. And there's Smokey. So four. Pete, Knight, Jet, and Smokey live together. And there's a dog. And then Duke and Dixie live together. And then Bo. So they're all close by, but we have tons of these panels. Our whole property almost is covered in these panels. Um, so nobody gets hurt. They have spent some grazing time together, but uh, no long-term thing yet. So, Bowman is doing great, uh, 9 o'clock. My farrier friend Dan is coming over, and Dan's quite the cowboy. Uh, we're not cowboy, we're Wyoming dressage people. Uh, I'm really into the driving. Val loves dressage and uh, riding, and my forte is is the driving. So my friend Dan is coming over and um, this will be the fourth day that I'll hook up the carriage and Dan will ride Bo and he rides in front right next to it and the idea behind that is is he sees the carriage behind him in front of him moving hearing it getting up next to the horses and it's a desensitized desensitizing <coughs> lesson. So this will be day four of that. Uh, Dan is an excellent rider. He will ride Bo Western and he have a cowboy hat on and chaps. <laughs> it's funny but he's a good guy and a good rider and uh, him and his girlfriend are mad crazy about Bo. Uh, it's just funny but uh, so he has, I'll lift up his shoes in a minute but he has a beautiful snow pads on and we don't have a ton of snow now we have had quite a bit of snow he uh, so anyway so Christmas vacation here my goal is to actually harness him up he's been in the stone boat with Dixie he's Harrow's our arena I have a Harrow he's getting very close to uh, actually being in the carriage but it's something you don't want to go too fast. Um, it's something you want to err on the side of caution as I'm sure you know and understand. So if I can, uh, all goes well though, he'll have his maiden voyage this, uh, this holiday break. So I'm going to sign off for a minute and I'll come back at 9 when Dan's here and we'll, I'll harness Duke and Dixie because it's their turn on uh, yesterday I took Pete and I round in the carriage, so everybody gets a go. I take turns, nobody gets left out, but Bo gets something every day. He either gets worked with or ridden uh, inside of the arena. That's the arena. There's all kinds of stuff in there to play with and balls, huge balls and <clears throat> bridges and things that we work with him a lot on. So every day he has attention. Um, I hope I don't sound too emotional, but I do. He's awesome. <laughs>